Hello everyone, this is Nathan Bryan from the Digital Monkey School uh, talking about Lecture 3 of the Beginner's Course to Maya. In today's class we are going to discuss how to set up a character. So if you remember from last class we created the head and chest of our character by creating a sphere and a cube but we want to lay out an entire body so we're going to start by talking about the individual windows the windows can be found along the left hand side underneath your tools starting with perspective which is what we're looking at now and a quad view four views uh, we can get to the quad view by default by hitting the spacebar this will bring us to top, front, side, and of course our perspective. Remember how we were able to change the you know, grayscale or wireframe in the perspective view? You can do the same thing with each of these views by putting your mouse over it, clicking, and changing those. So now we can see the grayscale in each one of these. Remember which side's side and which side's front because the front of your character needs to be facing your front camera. So we have a chest here and you know, this is the side of, size of the whole body. So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate it to get the rest of the body. So by hitting Control D that duplicates the object and we have the exact same size and position of it we can translate it directly down for the next stage of the body scale it if you want to give it you know sort of an ab shape to it and you can duplicate the chest again and move it down for the hips you know you can scale that around if you want just get him to look a bit more human from the side view, if we put our mouse over it and hit space bar, space bar, we're going to be zoomed into the side view and we can lay out the different objects to have a bit more of a spine shape to it. Okay. The next stage is going to be creating the arms and legs we're going to start by creating it on one side so create a cube move it into place and start scaling it for now we're just going to scale it straight down we can rotate it into place afterwards so might want to go to their side view to get it exactly where it needs to be. I usually put it a little back from center because the chest tends to stick forward from the rest of the body. Um, if you were to look how the arms are placed into the arm sockets, you'll see that you know clavicle bone sort of sticks forward in your chest. So I just move the arms back a little bit. We can duplicate this to create the leg, just sort of move it down. Up, oh, I started building him too low to the ground, so I'll just select everything and move it up to make sure that his feet are on the ground plane. So now we have you know, an arm and a leg and a torso and the head. So let's group these two arms so that we can move it over to the other side and you know, duplicate. To see what's going on, I'm going to open up the third window here, which is the perspective and outliner. So in the outliner, you're going to see all of the objects you've created as well as your perspective top front and side camera leave the cameras alone we're just going to be manipulating these objects 
So select the arm, shift select the leg. You'll see them highlight over here. Hit control G and you'll notice when you click this little plus sign here that you have both the arm and the leg under a new node. It's invisible, but it helps us manipulate both at the same time. If we duplicate it by hitting Control D, we can hit scale X to negative one because we know we want to go in the X direction, side to side, and we want to cha change it over from positive side to negative. So hit enter, and now he has two arms and two legs. In the outliner, select the arms and legs, hit shift P, that unparents them from the groups and then delete the groups. So now our objects are placed in the right position. We have the correct size and everything. So let's continue with our in our next lecture where we will start connecting up each of the objects of his body using parenting you already know unparenting, shift P. Uh, next lecture is going to be about parenting everything together to make him move correctly. Have a great afternoon, and I will talk to you in the next lecture.